Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Troy Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video and on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to um, how to add a timeline or a timestamp on your video. Now I'm going to show you guys this very quick. There is actually two different ways to add it. Now um, I'm going to show you guys uh, the both ways to add it. Now um, before you be able to add timestamp to a video Okay, actually, anybody will be able to add timestamp to a video, whether the person is a creator or he's just the person viewing it. And then I'm going to show you guys how it appears and also as a creator and also as a user. Now, let's dive into that. So this, um, I'm going to go over to this particular section and click on your video. And then I'm going to show you guys the first way on your channel, I mean. So I'm going to scroll down and click on a particular video, which is actually this one, Napoli versus um, Liverpool. So this is actually a video game. Now, if you are running a tutorial channel, just like I do, this might be a bit different. It's very the same thing, it's the same process anyway, but the way you apply your test is going to differ. So um, let's click on the video. Now, um, I'm going to wait for the password to finish. All right, guys, so um, before I start creating the timeline, I'm going to quickly explain something to you guys. You notice my description section, um, this is just the game and this is the transcript. And normally, if this is a tutorial, it's going to be um, talking about what the information is talking about. And this trans transcript is actually created automatically. You can notice all of the activities are all displaying here so anybody watching the video can easily navigate to this section by clicking on any section of the timeline so guys on this particular video i'm going to show you guys something very quick now um click on the comment section and then we are going to add the timeline right here so click on add a comment and under this area we are going to add different timeline and the timeline also guys is actually different scene on your video like different things that happen in your video so if you are actually interested in creating um, a timeline it's actually going to make your viewers or people that are watching the video um, discover different timeline easily now if you are a tutorial person you are going to have something like um, um, on this particular section to create the email then after creating the email downloading the software after downloading the software in all those particular section of your video, all those scene is actually going to have different timeline. So I'm going to explain that making use of this um, video I have right there. So since this is a football video, I'm going to be placing a timeline of where Liverpool scored their first goal and the person that scored the first goal. And I'm going to specify that particular timeline so that if anybody wants to watch it and click on that particular area, they will be navigated to that particular video highlight section and watch it. And now the way to do it is actually very easy. Allow your video to play. When your video play, if it gets to that particular section where you want to apply that timeline, you have to pause it. So um, let's, let's watch this video. I'm not going to watch it with you guys because it's going to make the video very long. You can notice this video is actually 13 minutes. So I'm going to watch the video myself. And when I get to that particular area, I'm going to pause it and show you guys. So let's dive in. All right, guys. So um, I have written my first word. And you can notice my first on the timeline is actually um, where it started. This is actually what you guys um, don't need to no matter what you do, always try to start it from the beginning. Like you can notice um, it's zero ratio, um, zero, zero, which is actually where the video started from. And if you notice on this area, it actually um, one and one, two. So it have to be 0, 0.00, which is actually where the video started. And then the next section is actually the goal build up. And then I think the goal was called around two ratio, two or so. So if you have this, just click on it and it will be added right here so if it's added right here anybody that clicks on this section just observe this timeline right here let me click on the video to play here it comes gorgeous control there i don't know if you um actually got uh, it it's not going to the beginning but if i click on this two ratio two two zero two it goes back to that particular timeline but for some reason it didn't switch back to this i don't know why um i think maybe i made a mistake let me see 
I'm correct. I'm very correct. It's zero ratio zero zero. So I wonder why it didn't start from there. But if I click here, it navigates back to that particular timeline. First position. So I'm also going to add where the goal was scored. So very soon the goal is going to enter. So I'm going to add that and then edit this particular section. I'm going to click here and then edit. So um, this is actually how to add a timeline. I don't think this is actually difficult. But if you do not find it, um, if you have any question, please leave it on the comment section. But I'm going to keep adding the timeline until I add in um i add the complete third goal which is actually the last goal so let me keep adding that all right guys so i have completely added all the um all the timeline i want to add so let's go ahead and test them so this is the second goal when you click on it it appears there you can Elinsky, the video he's left his see. man Um, it when you on this section, you can on the see right. the third goal build up And it's played for and the And let's watch our second goal. It's actually very cool. That was actually my best. And it's best Salah. Goal. Mohamed Salah hits that roll. Hits one! This is the last they score their first so, goal from um, the corner. Just what? about anywhere you want, when you after adding the timeline, it will be easier for people to actually discover the video um the section of the video which probably they need like maybe somebody um you created a tutorial and you want to make it easy for people to actually get because maybe the video is actually 10 minutes long because um something like me i end up explaining a lot of things in my video but the important section might be in the middle you can go ahead and do this but timeline is actually um a bit time consuming you know um, especially when you are the only person creating the video. So I don't add that on every of my video, but I add it most times though. It's actually very important and it helps your video appear on the search engine. But what do you think guys? Do you think um, it's okay for me to add timeline on all my video? That is it. if you actually watched my video to the end. So if you watch this video to the end, let me know if you like me to be adding timeline in all my video. And I'm going to take my decision depending on how many comments I got. On this video so um thank you guys for watching the video if it's helpful please smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video i'm going to see you guys soon please stay safe and peace